Uh, good to see you again, Mr. Peter Fireshow. Shokomola himself, Peter the Rock. Uh, all you have said... Thank you very much. All you have said is a justification of continued illegality in our country. And a lot of people are taken aback because also you yourself have been secretly recorded by an army captain when you were hatching out election fraud plans yourself in 2014. And we all remember that experience. So is it that we should continue in that now? And I also like to ask you this honestly. If another person apart from Bola Ahmed Tinubu you supported won this election, would you come on air and say all of these things that you are saying that people should move on without justice? You try to just rationalize what happened in Lagos. Yes, it happened in other parts of the country. But the killings, the hurts, the laceration of people's body and the likes, you know, that happened in parts of the country. But most importantly, what happened in Lagos. So should we justify this now because it favors people that you were in support of? Can I just correct you there? I take exception to your claim that I was secretly recorded. And I take exception that nobody has proven that. Yes, I can be recorded. But nobody will ever say to you that I said they should go and do it, go and rig an election. And I want to say to you, I've avoided touching on this area. When you are talking about Nigeria, let us start with the press. And let us start with your person. You recall the incident on the bus lane and your attack on the police. That shows that you, as a, as a journalist, a public analyst, somebody who is supposed to live above board, is not equally living above board. And he that must come to equity must have clear hands. I read a lot and I listen to your comments. I feel, like I said, we need to sit back and correct a lot of things. But you give me a right Let of rebuttal. Let me put your question again. Will you give me a right of rebuttal on the bustling incident because excuse I put it to you, sir. You uh, don't know the full story uh, uh, of what excuse happened. Excuse me. If, if, if you give me a right you, of rebuttal, if you, if you go, go ahead. That, if you go that lane, we will not. We will not make. We will not make a sense of this program. I was invited by your station. If you didn't touch something that impugns on my personality, I will not give you an answer to that. So if you're asking a question. I told Ruben about you yesterday, and I specifically complained about you. And your attack on the people you don't believe in as a politician. No, I have a right to do my job. You I can't can compare, you can't complain about me to my colleague. Excuse no, me, that's not, I, that's I not am right. equally telling you, I know, right. where you, I know where you are. That's all right of you as well. <laughs> that is technically not right of you as well. And if you want to make a sense out of this program, let us leave personal attacks, because you are good at that. And I'm equally good if you want, if you want it, I'll serve it as well as that. <laughs> so this program is, is, is meant to talk about issues of Nigeria and not issues of a person. We know where you are, we know where you belong, we know the parties you are supporting, wow. but let's leave that out of the issue. So going by what you ask, Nigeria needs a total overhauling of mm. leadership and followership. I have said it earlier that it is important to know since 1979 nothing has changed. People rushing to court now. Atiku has always gone to court since I knew Atiku as a politician and a contestant. Atiku went to court in, 19, in uh, 2019. Huh? The same judiciary huh? said to the whole world that President Buhari won that election. Listen to you, listen to you again. And listen to me. If we are not careful, as a commentator, we will remain on the television molding the opinion of Nigerians negatively. Because that is what we want them to hear. For me, the election that brought Ahmed Bola Tinumbu within the context of our conduct in this country is credible. It may not be the best. Because you can't tell me it's Bola Ahmed Tinumbu that killed the people you are mentioning. You can't tell me it was someone who that killed the people in Lagos. When, they, when there was an election in Ekiti, they hit me here on my back. A policeman hit me with the butt of the gun. Most of the journalists were saying fire she has come with his drama again. I had three surgeries last year. I could barely walk again. But when it is good, and when it goes against people we don't want, it is the, it's the best of things that could happen.
You are alive when the G5 left the PDP. You are alive when Obi left the PDP. You are alive when Kwan Kwan so left the PDP and so on and so forth. You want Mana to come from where? So people going to court automatically means when I go to court, the judiciary must give to you because you are complaining or because you are a complainant. Obi himself will certainly, I want to say to him, in G5, we concluded that we must support a southern presidency. Oh, wow. That is the truth. Depending on your peculiarity. And if you go to Benue, that was why Otom supported Obi in Benue. We supported Ashwaju in Ekiti. When they were talking about how did the, the numbers came up in Ekiti, it was us that gave it to them. It was it to the end. Me, Ayo she was the leader of the people that supported Ashwaju and gave the, our own votes to him. Let me tell you why. I make it very express to you. If you tell people they don't matter, they will tell you they matter. When somebody came out, how you came out and said Tambua was the hero of the convention, we, we are, they are now heroes of the losses. When you tell Wike, because on this television, they criticize Wike as if he's the enemy of Arise television. I am a Wike's friend, though. I stand by him. All the propagandas does not stand the test of time. If you kick my leg, I tell you don't kick it again. If you kick it again, I will do everything to stop it. So let's leave it okay. like that. Okay, so Mr. Farish, I'm going to give you a quick rebuttal. Number one, I do my job here objectively as I can. If you give and me one, no, you let, me, me let me finish. One, I will please. give you. I will Mr. give it back to Mr. you, Mr. Farish. Let me finish. If you, you give it, to I have me, a right to I respond. Only, I only responded. I, I have a right responded. to respond. Let it's me finish. It's not personal between the two of us. You made it this, personal, this so I have a right to respond. It's not personal. Okay, so between the two of us, Mr. you Mr. can Mr. take me out of this. this uh, Mr. Farish, I have a right to respond. I do my job objectively, so that I don't have a free day. Congratulations, political party. Congratulations for now. doing your job. Yeah, please. Congratulations for doing your job. I am not one of those boys, one of those politicians, politicians who belong to progress? public domain to talk progress? to anyhow. It is, Mr. It, it is important to note that. Mr. Fayoshe, can we make progress? Thank you. This is not a dialogue. This is a conversation. I'm with you. Yes, this is a, this is a program. It's a conversation. I yeah. let him not get personal. Yes, Mr. Let Mr. him not get personal on no. this program. No, no, it's, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Our job is to ask you questions. You respond. It's Ruben, not a personal Ruben, thing. I told you yesterday, and I mentioned, I mentioned Hussein's name particularly. Why I avoid Arise Television, and you assured me that you are going to moderate it in a way. Hussein cannot, if it's his job, go for my personality or my person on the live television. I'm it, giving it, it, it's back okay. to it, him. It's okay, Mr. Fauci. Can we return to the issues? Now I was going to ask. Thank you. you.